jump in the day because my man still has hours and hours of painting. Hit Best Buy for a keyboard. He smashed his yesterday. Can ask him about that later. So why don't you take it to that genius bar? Yeah. Look, I don't know what happened. I came home and like, everything was normal and then it just did this. It's crooked. Yeah, I guess fix this. <laughs> Oh shit, I just got in the wrong fucking car. Bro, I'm so fucking out of it today. I didn't sleep. A lot of edibles last night. We had quite a day yesterday. We did have an insane day yesterday. It was intense. So how did that end off with your dad? <laughs> Not well. I told him how he felt. Randy and I walked in. Randy's just like, geez, I wasn't expecting that. Neither was I. He called you? No, he sent me a text like a couple of weeks ago asking me for my new address. It's like, get fuck off. And it kept stewing in me and then my mom called me. Hey, your father called. No matter where I've lived, he's had my address and phone number. He's come to visit zero. I had kind of gotten into it with Allie over something like stupid. It just kind of sent me into a tailspin. Hey, so I know my mom gave me your, gave you my address like a month ago. Yeah. Just wondering if you why you needed it since you're not going to fucking use it. I was giving him straight venom. You alienated yourself, which didn't make any sense. Yeah, that's all he keeps saying. Does that mean because you moved away? Like, were you supposed to stay there and just deal with yeah, that? Yeah, I guess. That yeah, I fuck off, well, dude, yeah, At some point, I decided that this wasn't working and there was no support. And I went and did my own thing. My fucking crossroads and all this shit. How much of this is a character that's built up? Feelings towards my father that have driven me to do all these things in life. On the other side of that, there's no, oh, I'm proud. He is proud of me. It's like, fuck you. It doesn't feel good because you didn't help me get here. Yeah, like, like you don't get to be proud. Yeah, calling him every name in the book going in. That feels good, too, from a little boy's perspective. I can say whatever I want to you, yeah. and I can back it the fuck up. I can fuck you up. All right, so after you're done with that, right? Like, after you're done, cut him, sliced him, stabbed. He's been doing this for years, right? Like, he's been beating himself up, I guess. Oh, like, we're both exhausted. Now what? Now you make me question. You make me question all these things. Even my relationship with my fucking chick. Like, my yeah. fucking temper. Variables in life that shaped how much of this shit shaped me in ways that I didn't want to be shaped. And how much of it is even real? How much of me is a character playing a fucking hurt kid? Like, I don't know if like it's a crutch or if it's well, how much of a it muse. Is... All these things that I want to do in life, is that all just to prove to my dad that I'm fucking, I can build mountains? That's a natural thing though. But I then think. what? Like, yo, most people look at my life and say that I have everything. My yeah. dad looks at my shit and like laughs. Yeah. My success means nothing to him. You'll never get <clears> this kind of shit though yeah, that, but... that come from that kind of like, even my parents don't totally get it. Like, don't yeah, understand. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter what you do. You can be accomplished in all these different places. You can try to compensate for things in all these different places in life. Nothing's gonna compensate for the fact that when you were fucking 14 years old and you needed help, you couldn't ask for it. And now you wanna just act like everything's all good. I'm not in a place where I need acceptance from my father or anything. That's not even what I'm doing. I'm right now just trying to figure out because you're above if I'm angry, but I'm not. That's what people try to do, man. That's what I did for years. And I'm like, the best fucking response to haters is just to just blow up. Hey man, success is the best. That's fucking no, it's fucking not because it's empty. It's straight empty like all that shit doesn't do anything when you can't fucking reach the people that you want to reach. Respect this shit like digest this shit and they won't digest. But what if that one person just will never be able then to? That, then that's like, my that's question. The How much of my character attribute is based off that fact? If this is a video game, which it fucking is. How much of that? shapes who the fuck you are as a person and then how much of that is perspective from like a younger mindset how much of my 36 year old mind is shaped by my 13 year old mind well, i think like, a lot of it uh, i mean well I think, then how is that okay i think you're also shaped by your 20 year old mind you're and i also think you change and as long as you're changing and evolving how do you year define old? evolving how much of evolvement is to hold on to i think learn well no not there's a reality of the situation is that one day this man is gonna die and then i don't have any answers as far as this gets tricky and you know, i've hated him for so fucking long it's kind of like I don't even know if I can not hate him. But as much as you want to make good, just because you're a good person. But I don't know if I do. I don't know that yeah, this is me don't. being a good person. I'm not like trying to come off like, I really want to reconcile with my father because I have, like, that's not it. Hey, you are a bitch ass motherfucker. You did bitch shit. You never acknowledged it. You guys tried to put me in all these little box, clean my room out and try to send me to fucking psych wars. You guys tried to put me in military school. All this fuck shit that was based on your fear of raising a fucking child. Yeah. So when the fuck is my acknowledgement and when the fuck is my apology that you didn't know what you were doing i understand it like i understand it now as a man i look back at what my dad did in his 20s i'm like yo i'm 36 so yeah. right now i'd have a fucking well that's a 13 conversation year old. that 
I heard in the two <clears throat> minutes, that's what you were saying to him. You're like, dude, I'm fucking 36. I've done more than you could have ever done in your fucking life. And you would think that that feels great, right? To like show yeah. your, it doesn't. Weird line. At the same time, you're feeling great to prove it to him. You're also like, not only did I prove it to him, but I'm straight sunning my own dad. Yeah. You were supposed to have raised me and I'm supposed to have been proud. And yeah, I want you proud, but I, I, I almost want you hurt. Like I almost mm. want you to look at this and be like, Jesus Christ, I spent my life doing this and gambling and doing this with women and fucking up my family and Teddy's out here. Yesterday I was like, you didn't do shit. You tried to get me to not tattoo. You tried to get me not to travel. I had to fucking run away from home. Yeah. I do all this shit to get here. And you never apologized. Sorry if you yeah. knew more than we did. Never. Like, and then finally he's like, well, I didn't have that off. Then that's your fucking problem. Yeah. That shit to me. I didn't do it to you. Today, honestly, I woke up and I felt like I haven't felt in a long time, but it felt like the day I went to school after my parents split up. Like I had like that same energy. This feels weird. It feels strange. And I don't know how I feel about my dad. I don't know, it's just weird. The whole thing yeah. was just weird and came out of nowhere. So, but I'm cool. I'm Gucci. Let's go get weed. All right. I got a new keyboard. It's a long boy. Afraid of the Oculus Rift. He didn't want to have anything to do with it. He said, let's buy an Oculus Rift. And I said, okay. And then he said, no fucks. Well. Yeah. He's a Frisbee boy for sure. Yeah. He doesn't care about anything else. I know. What the fuck? What the fuck do you want me to do this fucking thing? Say air again, I'm gonna punch you. Be a fucking empty one. Just to fuck with you? Yeah. Need to be everything is uh, shipped except like four sticker packs that I'm gonna ship. Hey, 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 hey! She only love me when it's late, cause she a nigga thumb don't make it. How old is it? Just came out two hours ago. God damn. Yeah. Should have let me out in the hard drive, my G. You know, the glamorous life of painting. The strippers everywhere, loud music, partying. I'm trying to steal my Espo lighter. We're gonna have to go get it anyway. You ever seen those movies? The whole house has just been torn up and like ransacked. He's like, they, they got it. That's how I'm gonna do your house for the fucking lighter, like the microfilm. Should we smoke it? No, oh, it's just been in there for six months. I know. We'll smoke that when the news is like, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. Prepare for the end. They are coming. And I'll be like, dog, we're out of weed. Let's just hit this thing. And they'll be like, what? It's gonna be so harsh. And I'm like, not harsher than the nuclear fucking holocaust. Ah, boom. <laughs> And then we will return to Ash and we will know nothing. That is terrifying. Not really. Back to our natural state. All right, well, I mean, just, yeah, I guess. You can't be really dead, though, because you'd have to be alive to call yourself dead. When you're not alive, you can't be dead. Yeah. You're only dead to the people that are still alive. That's why Boost can never be dead, because it was never alive in the first place. Facts. This made some people feel alive. This shoe makes me feel so alive, because no one else has them. I do like those blue ones. Uh. <laughs> the yellow cage on them, the blue ones with the yellow cage. Oh yeah, those are nice, yeah. The they're, on, they're on the way, yeah. I'm gonna go on Instagram and unfollow five people. Unfollow everybody. I, 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 I kind do of... Do it, go to zero, see what happens. So one you had to tell me the other day that off-white was a, a new FUBU and that white people shouldn't wear it. No. He's like, that's why it's off-white. I was like, I don't think there's been any correlation with your statement, sir. If it was called like the Cucamonga Crackakillas, I might fucking agree with you, but that isn't what that's not what we're doing. What do you do if you mess up? You you can paint over and kind of start again? Like paint your way out of it like a real artist? What do you do when you mess up in real life? Run. No, you fucking figure it out, right? I mean, I remember asking that question when I was learning how to tattoo. I was like, what do I do if I mess this up? And the motherfucker was like, figure it out. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, just say anything else. It's always a surprise when we get something from our friends over at StockX. I thought you wanted a full size run of all the off ones. Fuck you, Glide. Nice. Is this the one that you took? Yeah. Are these I the do. same as the solar glass that you ran in? Yes. It's supposed to be the same model. Yeah, but it's different material. I didn't realize that until I wore them when I was like, oh, it's that model. I that could bring it over tomorrow. It is that model, like the shape of the shoe and uh, shit. See the Chinese New Year ones? Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. Joe Rogan yes, yes. behind you with Action Bronson. <laughs> yeah, I like this pair of They got all these laces. A lot of shit with Pharrell. Yeah. A lot of fucking human races are coming. Yeah. We got the Embolers, Embol, the Em, Em, Embola Thrill, Em, Embola Thrill. I'm the Thrill for you didn't have those there. Right. They sent the wrong side. Oh, that's right. These are all part of that one. I get it. I get it. How do you think I feel, motherfucker? Exactly. Fucking 
Who's got my ass? She's two months old. Sleeping. Slipping, sleeping. Shopping. Shout out to StockX. Shout out to StockX. It's so petty for me to care, you know, because I have so many shoes. We have the Inspire, the One mm -hmm. Fire, the Empower, 3M Power. Like they should have made that 3M, so it's a 3M Power. Oh, shit. Shout out to Stock Motherfucking X. Well, I like the, it does have 3M on the heel. It does. Good nice. eyes. Nice. Good I just eye. saw the light hit it. <laughs> Ooh, that just hit my painting. How am I looking? Let's go. Welcome to the Boost News Network. My name is Dirty Earn and I'll be your anchor this evening. Yeezy 700 Mwavs are dropping this week. A lot of people hated the original ones. Now the Mwav comes out and all of a sudden, Everybody loves Yeezy. Let's see what happens on this drop, but I'm guessing these ones are going to sell out pretty quick. There's more Dragon Ball. Blanco. Mm -hmm. What? Blanco's calling me. The stream is still on. Oh, at the house. And you know what else is coming out on October 27th? The Air Jordan Platinum Tint. You into wearing the same shit, you want to do it all the time, go get yourself the Air Jordan Platinum Tint. You can have the same shoe that you had as a child, but this time it's platinum tinted. Another Adidas drop is the, uh... Hold on. The Adidas DBZ Shell, Cell, I'm sorry, the DBZ Cell is also dropping on the 27th. So, so we have three shoes dropping on the 27th. Honestly, my wife wants a pair, I think. Is there boost in that Yeezy? I always get confused with the 500s and the 700s. The 700 has boost, right? So we got boost in that Yeezy too. 350 retail, looks like my wife isn't getting a pair. Let's see what else we have going on coming up in November. What is this Pharrell Williams inspiration pack? We've got a little something in right now about the Pharrells that I did not know was going on. The uh, Pharrell Inspiration Pack that dropped November 30th actually came out on Adidas early. There is a lot of fear of, of people getting their shoes returned because this is way before the drop. Now, canceled, really, because we th there's a Pharrell. So will they get their Pharrells? That's what they wonder. Are they going to have to wait a month to get them? Sometimes Adidas likes to take money off your card and hold on to it. Believe me. And if you try and add to card service, you can really get yourself screwed. But they also work great. Shout out to add to card services. Let's get back on the subject. The Inspiration Pack, November 30th. You can see the shoes right here. One, two. You were pointing off screen, by the way. One, two, three, and four. So right here is the shoes. One, two, three, and four. I oh, got you. I'm oh, Okay. Another drop that we have going on, and it's not so much boost, but it is 4D. You know what I'm going to say. I'm talking about everybody's fucking hype on the same shoe upper that they hated just months ago. Welcome to Kith 4D. Here they are, right here. But you know, probably can't get them in a 13 anyways. If you got a big foot, you're fucked in this 4D stuff. I don't know if the- Well, no, th they're dropping a new, they did a different model in 4D that is dropping, dropped already in Canada, and then it goes up to a size 40. Hold on, this just in. Let me hit that. Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. It's just in. I'm wrong about the 4D sizing. For a long time, you couldn't get it up to a size 14, but it seems like the Alpha Edge, which actually you can find right this moment in a size 10 online. What's, where is it? Essence.com. At Essence.com. Essence? Essence. S-S-E-N-S-E.com. S-S-E-N-S-E. $300 is what we're looking at right now, but go ahead and get yourself a pair if you need that 4D wave. For those of you into Spider-Man, the new D-Rupt is coming out. When is it? What does that have to do with Spider-Man? The web. Yeah, but it's a fucking... It's a webbed shoe. Yes, that is true, but it's the Dragon Ball Z collab. Here's the thing. Also, and let's not forget about Dragon Ball, and there's two of them. There's the D-Rupt, which a lot of people have been talking about. And there's also the Kamaja Boo. No, Majin Boo. Majin Boo Kamanda is the uh, Dragon Ball Z Kamanda. Not really a fan of Kamandas myself, but as a news reporter, I'm just here to bring you what's going on. So d -Rup is purple. Madness teased these Ultra Boosts today that are coming out. Those are hot. Not really, but go ahead. This just in, and this to me is the most exciting thing. Take a look at this pair. Now, I really like this. These leak, people have called these the Oh It's Teddy Beaters. I don't know if it's the ink, the paint, what it is, but I'm looking forward to this pair. I like the leather cage. I like the logo on it. I don't really even know who these people are. I like the paint splatter. 
Now, I know you guys have probably heard about this, but the multicolor toe, the creams are restocking, although I saw someone got a pair in Dubai today. So if you're in Dubai or the area, a lot of 1.0s they're bringing back, which is what the people asked for two years ago, and 2.0, which no one asked for. So we don't know, we don't know what they're doing. Oh, shit. Also, there's a bunch of Yeezys coming up, which I'd like well, to talk there's about. There's a Yeezy Sesame coming. What else is The glitch. We don't know when, but it looks... Static? Static. You know when? I think it's supposed to be around Christmas. Well, there you have it. Sure, it'll probably have something to do with Black Friday, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so hold on. There's also two versions of that shoe. One's 3M and one's not. The 3M one is supposed to be super limited. We gotta get them. <laughs> we gotta get these. Yeezy Sesames are up next, and they're coming soon. Definitely copping a pair of those. I think from here on out, I'm gonna try and cop every Yeezy made. They got some really nice colorways. Static is coming out. Around Christmas, maybe. There's not an exact date yet, but they're talking about two models. One in 3M and one regular. Now, the 3M is supposed to be super limited, but I don't think that should be a problem over here. Rumors and Rules is doing a surprise restock tomorrow on the 3M Crest. Very, very limited. Honestly, the restock was only made one of our great supporters who misses every drop and takes L's more than anyone we know. So we went ahead and did a little restock to make sure he could secure a shirt and a few other people that may have missed it. It's going to be tiny. It's going to be fast. Keep your eyes and ears open. It's going to be tiny and it's going to be fast. Uh, you got married so early. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that may be it for the Boost News Network. What do you think about the off-white Nike tuxedo tee? Is that for real? You know, the off-white Nike tuxedo tee is just ridiculous. Why? I don't know, because tuxedo tees are stupid, but now we're calling it high fashion? I'm gonna tell you guys something about high fashion. Tuxedo tees are not high fashion. Can't just slap an eagle with a Nike logo in the back, things need to have contact. What does that eagle have to do with the tuxedo? What does the Nike swoosh have to do with either? This is the uh, first set of Louis Vuitton on sneakers from Virgil. Oh God. Hold up, it seems like uh, we're gonna go over to Teddy for the full review of these. Up to you, Ted. Here, uh, Dirty Yard, I gotta say that uh, these are absolute trash. No one's gonna be buying these at all. Timberland with a chain wallet also comes in a white colorway. It is absolutely horrendous. A variety of sort of skate looking runners. Retro, 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 but you know what you don't retro? Hers. These are recycled shits. Moving right on to the recycled shit Jordan 1. Looks like a mix, maybe made it with an LA gear and then decided to throw up on it. Luxurious line where you might have to go to the ball or the ballet, the ballet, the ballerina, the ballet. I don't know what the fuck these are. They're dress shoes. What we've done here is we've removed everything that makes sense. We've put a couple of little stars and whatever the fucking monogram shit. We've, we've made a clusterfuck. We have now moved into clusterfuck fashion, which I would like to also comment on the tuxedo shirt. It has never been cool, not once. It has only been featured in 80s movies for nerds to wear. Traffic sucks. All right, all right, Ted, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here at Boost News Network. We will see you all tomorrow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Killed it. Killed it. <laughs>